Hey everybody, welcome to another video of RC with Adam. My name is Adam and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about Jell-O. What is it and how I solved the Jell-O issue with this little quadcopter right here. Stay tuned. So first of all, what is Jell-O? Well, if you don't know what Jell-O is, I'm not sure why you're watching this video because you wouldn't know that it's a problem. So Jell-O is when you have a camera on a quadcopter, you get vibrations sometimes. And what the vibrations will do to the camera is cause kind of like lines, like jiggly looking lines on the video. Here's an example of what Jell-O looks like. And when you have that, it obviously doesn't look good. You don't want that. It's amazing the difference between a jello free video it's like the difference between you you know you're just like you actually flying you feel like you're flying as opposed to you feel like somebody you know the video that you're watching is just somebody like took a camera and just strapped it to their quadcopter which in reality kind of is the case but it makes a big difference i will put in the description below links to other videos that talk more in depth about kind of what jello is and kind of the more technical aspects of that let's uh, take a closer look at this and i'm going to show you how i have this set up let's do it so i have here my main five inch quadcopter and it's a pretty standard setup so what i've done is i've soft mounted the, all of the motors here and the way that i've done that is i have um, I basically made little silicone uh, washers. Let me make sure you can see this. Can you see that? Yes. So what I've done is I basically made little silicone washers for the screws to go through. And I have put, uh, I put one on the motor side. So it sits between the motor and the frame. And the other one on the screw head side. So it sits between the frame and the head of the screw. So the motors are tight, but they're still, there's definitely still some... Uh, well, there's some some softness in there now. Well, this one's missing it because it got ripped off because I guess these are not quite as durable as I had thought. So I'll, I'll put another one on there. And then here on the frame, I have actually let me take this mount off. Let me take this mount off here so I can show you the frame better. So this mount just clips into place. It's quite durable really for what it is. So also here on the top plate, I have mounted, uh, I have soft mounted the top plate by doing the same type of thing. So I have um, this one's, th these ones are pretty thick right here that come in contact with the standoffs, but I have silicone um, washers essentially, and then silicone washer on the top. So <clears throat> the only contact with this top plate is just a little bit of the, of the screw that goes through there and, uh, may and maybe not even that much at all. So you can actually see the top plate does move a little bit yeah so this is really cool and really exciting because doing it in this way it actually um i'm able to uh to to soft mount these motors and reduce the vibration going to my flight controller and all the sensors in there so my quad should actually be flying more smoothly um, just because of that, you know, depending on how much vibration there was in the first place. Um, and then as an added bonus, or maybe that is the added bonus, um, I can also just get rid of the jello in my camera as well. So um, that's, it's, it's kind of a two for one right there. And I'm going to leave a link in the description to some other videos about soft mounting your motors. That's kind of a different topic because people don't usually soft mount their motors um, in order to get rid of jello. They usually do that so that their quad will fly better. So I'll, I'll leave some, uh, some links down below and you know more in depth and stuff and in some of those some of those videos that i've seen uh like johnny fpv has a video and and maybe maybe he's made an updated one since then i'm not sure but he used uh he just used like layered electrical tape on the uh on the quadcopter arm here to soft mount the motor um and i tried that and i didn't really like it it didn't seem like it was thick enough and i really did not notice any kind of difference so i really like this kind of thin silicone uh i'm not sure how thick this is i would i would guess the thickness of the silicone is um right about approximately exactly oh uh, three millimeters yes right about there so it's thick enough but it's not it's not too thick but it's pretty thick but you want it decently thick and decently firm so that it will not totally squish flat when you tighten down your screws and 
yeah, and I've not had any of the screws loosen on me, so it has worked uh, very well. And now you might be wondering, well, gee, Adam, why don't you just you know, soft mount your camera and then you wouldn't have to worry about all the rest of the stuff. That's a very good point. You could absolutely do that, um, especially if you are going to use like a 3D printed uh, camera mount and it's printed out of that like, uh, you know, squishy uh, silicone-like 3D printed material. Um, so that would probably work really well and because then you'd have a mount and it would be insulated from vibration. And currently, you know, this is just the the camera mount that I have. So um, if I didn't have this camera mount and I went with a squishy 3D printed one, then that's probably all I would need to do to get rid of the jello. I did bef uh, before when I was still te uh, testing this out, I, I did have the bottom uh, of the standoffs um, insulated as well or insulated from vibration. I had the I had silicone on both sides of the bottom uh, plate as well. The problem with that was that it ended up where this whole top plate uh, standoff assembly was kind of squishy and it would it could sort of wobble around um, as you can see in this video. So that wasn't that wasn't a very great idea because then it, it really uh, took away from the strength of the actual the whole top plate which is really important to protect all of the components all of the very expensive components uh, under the top plate. So first let me show you some uh, before and after footage with the uh, this little Mobius camera. This is a pretty old camera and I think that is why I was having a lot more uh, a lot worse jello issues with it and maybe this mount wasn't really helping much either because it didn't really you know there might have just been some extra jiggle but um, the difference is pretty striking between uh, no soft mounting and then after I soft mounted it so here you can see um, this is before I soft mounted it and it is pretty jiggly I mean there's some there's jello you can see those lines of jello uh, in there and it's uh, it's not very good and then now it's uh, after after soft mounting it and you can see it is much much better there are certain you know ranges certain throttle ranges where it still had uh, some jello but it was really much 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 better and uh, but again I think it's just because of the older camera and it just just uh, more prone to jello so when I put when I tried out the GoPro um, Oh man, I mean, it was it was so much smoother um, with the vib with the uh, vibration dampeners in place. Now and then later, I was flying around and I was flying without the top plate dampers, but still with the motors um, with the silicone vibration dampers on the motors, so the soft mounted motors. And I was I was at sometimes get, still getting some jello. So then what I did is I just put the the uh, soft mounted top plate back on or I should say I saw I re, I re soft mounted the top plate and all the jello seemed to just disappear so it was there was just no jello issues in there so I'm, I'm overall I'm very pleased with with uh, how well this worked it's important though that you make sure that you don't get prop wash confused with jello prop wash is uh, most commonly happens when you catch yourself when you're flying your quad and you catch yourself from from falling um, and what's what's happening is you're actually kind of falling. You're you're basically chopping up your um, your disturbed air. So you're you're disturbing the air, and it's it's coming out of the propellers all disrupted. And then as you're dropping into it, it's not smooth. So your quad will kind of jiggle around a little bit. But that's not the same thing as Jello. That could cause Jello. But Jello it comes from it's more. I think that Jello comes from smaller vibrations. Um, that kind of make its way to the camera and the sensor in the camera and it causes that issue so it's not so much a, a it, you won't as much see the actual quadcopter like the camera moving around as much as you will just see distortions on the image that the video is capturing that is jello right. and very quickly here let me just show you the method that i use to make these little uh, silicone washers now of course you can buy you know, some kind of silicone washers or, uh, or or something like that. And of course, you can buy little little pieces made for your motors. Um, but if you're like me and you like making your own stuff, then you'll probably want to do this. So what I did is I got some silicone item like this, like this dish strainer here, and you can play around with different different types of silicone, uh, with the thicknesses and and how um, 
you know flexible and soft it is uh, and to see what kind of results you can get and so what I did is I took this uh, like a leather uh, hole punch deal here, hole cutter and then I find that it's usually just easiest to just make the hole in here go through the material pop it out there's our hole and then we'll just take the uh, this uh, paper uh, you know hole puncher put that on here and then just line up the hole that we already made inside there and then just punch it out and then voila we have ourselves a little silicone kind of washer dealy so it's pretty cool because you know you can I mean, you can get a whole bunch of these out of just a little like a silicone piece like this that I got from the dollar store and then you can uh, you know make well make a bunch of these and then use them to vibration uh, to to damp the uh, your flight controller you could use them for your motors your your top plate you know whatever else you can think of so there you go that is how I uh, got rid of the jello uh, from my camera on my quadcopter and um, hopefully this will kind of give you some inspiration to maybe try it out on your quadcopter again your mileage uh, may vary because you might be using different propellers different frame and all that is going to uh, change the vibration tendencies of your quadcopter so in any case thanks for watching um, leave me a comment if you have questions about this or if you just want to say hey I tried that and it really works and uh, like this video if you like it consider subscribing to this channel if you want to see more videos about this kind of stuff and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time